Hello guys, hope you are doing well. Well, Indian tech IPOs, hot. Well, is it hot in a good way or a bad way? Are they scary or are they totally amazing ways to get rich? You know, yeah, IPOs are the talk of the town, really. You know, one after the other, IPOs are coming. And since I've been talking about investing here, main aap logo ko yahan is apne YouTube videos mein, it's be the best you. So investing is a big part of life. If you want to have a good, successful life, you must earn, but you also must save and invest. So aaj hum investing se related karenge because the one of the hottest tickets in town right now is all these tech IPOs, which people do not want to miss on and people who have never invested in the stock market never ho seedha ghusna jate hain boss ipo mein dala ki nahi you know ipo allocation mila ki nahi i'm going to tell you about what i have done as far as ipos are concerned in my life i have invested like for the last 25 years i've been investing so but have i done ipos or not i'll talk to you about it later but let's talk about the hot hot indian tech ipos right we've had zomato we've had nika and we just as i'm recording this we've had paytm which has just come out and everyone all these ipos have had a different different kind of story main individual companies pe comment ya recommend to obviously nahi karunga because this is more a way to learn about how to look at these ipos and how to invest here and ho kya raha hai right and i think i have a interesting way i can tell you how you can play this to save yourself this anxiety ki bhai ya to kamal ho jayega ya fata hal ho jayega you know and that is what has also happened here and uh, i am going to draw parallels to the us market because i when i used to started investing a lot of my investments were in the us tech sector and now india is kind of seeing that you are seeing a lot of tech companies finally getting listed whereas in the us it has happened um, you know 10 20 years ago things like that to ye um i think it's important to understand what is really really going on i am going to talk about individual companies i am going to share some screen with you but that doesn't mean i'm recommending or not recommending a company so with that said uh just for educational purposes let's go for it okay so the latest ipo jo abhi chal raha hai and, and that is the paytm one that has just come i mean the ipo was so hot guys i was traveling to bangalore i was traveling to amritsar for some events and the cab driver was also asking or talking to his friend about this ipo uh, i had my friends who had applied i had people basically jo aaj tak kabhi stock market mein nahi apply karte uh, that means they don't really know how to look at companies but because it's hot it's indian tech and uh, usme karna hi hai now i'm super super proud of the indian tech sector i i can't tell you it is the most exciting thing for me as far as being an indian is concerned a lot of these tech companies have been created by my college mates some of them by my batch mates some of them i personally know they are friends i hang out with them and they are like built these big companies you know and it is amazing to see these people some of them are my juniors and they have made this great great um you know uh, value creation that they have done keep they are unicorns which is like a 1 billion us dollar plus company global standard 7500 crore plus valuation there are many unicorns in india i was just at an event in bangalore where uh, i was the moderator for an event with unicorns done by the karnataka government and matlab unhone sare unicorns ko honor kiya they honored all of them and they were believe it or not there were 25 unicorns that came in bangalore last year or something like that it's so much so that is not an issue my personal liking for these companies is a lot it's almost emotional but 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 i am talking about investing in the ipos of these companies and how you as an investor and most of you watching this are small investors i mean uh, nobody small in a way everybody is putting their hard earned savings but there is a definition i guess there are institutional investors who bade bade funds hain wo they are looking at it differently although they should also can benefit from this video i think but you know they sometimes feel they know better that's fine par mera kaam hai main aapko bata do and for those who feel some of you do feel sometimes uh, odd balls on twitter will write ki oh romantic novelist is not now talking about investments oh oi oh, oi oh, oi oh, two states wala guys i was i worked in investment banks i worked in goldman sachs credit suisse deutsche bank i know what i'm talking about okay now nobody knows what the stock market will do or will not do so that is not what i'm saying but i know what i'm talking about 
a lot better than others and i see indians don't understand this well so isliye uh, yeah we are excited and i i do encourage investing in the stock market don't get me wrong but usko kaise karna hai wo theek se karna so let's let's anyway bhumi ka bahut baandli let's go into some uh, serious uh, screen sharing i told you i'll I, I, no i'm i'm not going to do too many crazy numbers here but let's just look at paytm which is very interesting because the this is the first big ipo tech ipo that um has come out the tech ipo and the shares have really gone down you know they really went down it's been ye at the time of recording this has just been one trading day uh, the ipo came last week at 1950 rupees if you can see this little cursor here and you know and now it's at 1560 you know there are uh, some news items you can see it here guys you know uh, a nightmare day for paytm as stocks crack uh, cracks 26% on debut what should investors do abhi kya karenge investor pehle batana tha na ab kya bata rahe ho anyway that's there you know there are there are all kinds of other things and it's uh, paytm shares hit lower circuit you know delivering a dud ye hota boss kai bar life mein agar ek cheez theek na jaye log chahte hain ki hum free ke paise banaye hum chahe paise dale aur phatak se ipo upar khule well it doesn't always happen like that because first of all you have to understand what is an ipo an ipo is a liquidity event for the company matlab ek company ke shares ab aur aur logon ke haathon mein aa sakte hain public ke haathon mein bhi aa sakte hain to usse wo company aur paisa raise kar sakte hain aam market se lekin uh, it also is a valuation of the company so the company is giving its own jo existing shareholders hain wo thode aur share issue kar rahe hain aap jaise naye logon ke liye अब वो फेयर प्राइस पे ही करेंगे ना वो क्या करेंगे कि आपको देंगे और चाहते हैं कि उस दिन डबल हो जाए एंड आई नो द मीडिया सेलिब्रेट्स द शेयर्स वेंट अप हंड्रेड परसेंट एंड इट सीन एज अ अमेजिंग आईपीओ बट यू नो व्हाट इज हैपनिंग इनसाइड द कंपनी इज थिंकिंग अरे हमारा दिमाग खराब था हमने इतने सारे शेयर ऐसे बेच दिए और अगले दिन वो डबल हो गए इसका मतलब हमने कम प्राइस पे बेचे हैं सो यू अंडरस्टैंड सो द कंपनीज द आईपीओ दैट आर डबलिंग ऑन द डे वन आर नॉट वेल प्राइस आईपीओ ऑल्सो that just means some banker is going to maybe lose their job or something ki ye kya kar rahe the tum you know what is an ideal situation is ki ipo ke baad company ke shares thode se badh jaye you know and that's what they do the bankers manage that the bankers who do the deal they buy and sell some shares on their own or tell their friends to buy and sell ki bhaiya niche na jaye 5 10% 15% upar chala jaye is good par ek bhed chal ho jati hai aur 60% zomato upar gaya 90% nike upar gaya अरे यार मेरा आईपीओ सबसे देखो कमाल का हुआ है कमाल का नहीं हुआ यू जस्ट प्राइस इट रियली रियली बैडली एज फार एज द कंपनी इमेजिन आपके पापा का बिजनेस होता और आप बेचने निकले हो और आपने बेच दिया पांच करोड़ रुपए में पूरा बिजनेस और अगले दिन उसने आगे दस करोड़ का बेच दिया आप बोलोगे कि वाह क्या कमाल की डील की मैंने आप यही सोचोगे यार पागल था मैंने पांच में बेच दिया सात आठ में तो बेचता नौ में बेचता राइट सो दिस इज वॉट फर्स्ट थिंग यू हैव टू रियलाइज नाउ बिकॉज the shares just popped up they went up now it could be because the companies really tried to price it right but the investors went crazy on it it could be that right but they they have um, you know gone up a lot now look at zomato this is now uh, zomato shares over the past 6 months the ipo of course in the 6 months tak to public bhi nahi hua the ipo came out um, and then it has been up and up and up and uh, you can i think it went up 60% on the day one and right now also the company is i don't know doing really well if i just go into more about zomato it has a market value of 1.17 trillion inr here which i think is 117000 crores it is um, very successful it is uh, above uh, above its ipo price but like i said paytm went down nike went up now what does it mean now ipo investing is not some different thing than investing in the normal stock market first of all you need to realize that lot of people in india feel ipo mein ghus jaoge to prices to badhne hi hain and therefore we will make quick money that is usually not the case what does happen yes no company wants ipo ke baad unki price gir jaye so they will manage the price or they will price the deal thoda sasta ki 10 15 20% upar jaye so you can play that and but that often never works so I told you I will tell you about my IPO journey. I have never invested in IPOs. I have never. You know, the only time I wanted to invest in an IPO, it was too cumbersome. I used to work in a bank, and I had to take so many permissions because when you are working in an investment bank, you can't just buy so easily. 
And that was the Google IPO in 2004. I liked that company and I wish I had, I did buy Google shares later on a little bit, but at a higher price, of course, but I'm just saying, even at that time I wanted to buy, but I didn't buy because it was too cumbersome for me at that time and my job. And also it's okay. Let it come out. As a thona ki IPO ke baad price badni hai. The company is still the same. And what is the share price? It's just the value of the company. So the company is the same. So the value of the company should not change that much after an IPO. Like I said, only a little bit up, but I can avoid a big crash. Like what Paytm happened. I, I, I don't have to play with my hard earned savings, like a lottery ticket. Ki double ho jayega aur aadha ho jayega. That's this lesson. Number one, you don't have to go crazy over these IPOs. You can always go and buy. In fact, you can buy Paytm today, 30% cheaper than the people who, you know, stood in line and like our applying for the IPO and like, oh, milega ke nahi, allocation milega ke nahi. they must be like, Are yaar, kaash na milta. so it has, uh, what am I basically trying to tell you? I'm trying to tell you that tech IPOs, especially can get really uncertain evaluations. Even the so-called experts don't know where it's going to settle because ultimately it reflects on people's sentiment, but they, they are also places where a lot of growth can happen a lot, right? Paytm can just go into a totally different business and you still have 35 crore people. So unme se kuch ko bhi bej diya, hai, right? If they come to me and say, you know, we'll sell your book to all our users and maybe 1% also buy that's 35 lakh books sold. I will like, wow, what do I have to give you? I don't know. No, I, I, that's not on the plan, but I'm just saying, so they could do it with many products. Zomato also similar. So these are all these various permutation combinations. There could be a competition. There could be things could change. Everything is changing in tech. That's the other thing. So you have, you can always wait for post IPO and you must not put all the eggs in one basket. That's what they say in stock market investing anyway, but you definitely don't put it in tech in one basket. It gets very, very scary. Now there are some good companies. I said, I'll give you some us examples where some companies have continued to do very, very well. I'm showing you now, right now on the screen, you're seeing the shares of Apple, one of my favorite um, companies in the world, not only for their products, but also for the stock price, right? But if you see most of the, I mean, it, it was not such a great company in 97 to 2007, as far as stock market is concerned, it always had a cult following, but the real thing has happened from 2007, $3 a share. They've been split many times. So this is the adjusted price. $3 a share used to be, and now it's $160 2007. If I just do a five year on Apple, you know, 400 and. 74% up in the last five years alone for such a big established company. And they're in hardware, you know, it's not just software company. So they do make products, which are, so that is a fantastic thing they've done. If you just do one year, you know, if you just do one year, it's 36% up from year on year to year to date, it's up 24%. It's a pretty solid stock. The right now, if you just see that towards the end, Right, right now in the last 15 days or so, the stock has done up. You know why? Because this talk of Apple making a uh, an electric car. Wow! Even in the U.S., companies can get very, very highly valued. Another company I really like in the U.S. is Nvidia, which I I, I like it, but everybody seems to like it. They make these chips, and they make these chips for artificial intelligence, which has become the big thing. All these self-driving cars, and now this your Facebook is talking about metaverse. Uh, Nvidia itself has talked about omniverse. There'll be like a world, like a Facebook is just this screen, but now we'll all live as characters. There'll be another world. All kinds of weird things will be happening in that. It's a parallel. And for that, you need chips. I mean, not uncle chips, semiconductor chips, and Nvidia is going to be making those. So it's a company that is going crazy. If you see five year return on Nvidia, five years. Okay. Last five years, it is an insane 1300%. Percent. Five years, 13 times hua hai, ye company. In the last year alone, it has, you know, uh, doubled this stock. If you just see this 152% in the just one year, year to date, 151%. It is crazy. What has happened to this company? Just, I mean, one month ago, like fifth, like in the, in October, it was 200 something. 
Now it's 350, 50% in the last month because they announced they're working on the metaverse. They are very expensive stock right now. Again, 101 PE. Apple is at 28, they're at 101. Now, so NVIDIA is great, but it's also very expensive. But people love NVIDIA so much. Jab 100 PE, hai, 120 ho sakta hai. Ho sakta hai, kyun ho sakta? Sapno ki koi kimat nahi hoti. You know, so that's how tech sector works. But you have to be careful. So what do you do, right? What if in India get goes wrong? Then you're really in trouble. This could easily fall to half because people say 50 PE bhi jada hai fir. So what do you do? So sometimes people just like to buy sectors and, and, and they buy uh, the indexes related to this. In the US, uh, they even have this something called QQQ, which is actually the NASDAQ, which is actually the tech shares. So this is the tech share index. This is uh, in front of you. This is not one company. This is all the companies. So here you are dealing with some companies with great PE, some companies with no PE, some PE companies with very cheap PE, and this is a whole overall tech sector. And this has also done well, 662% all time last five years, 240%. Again, not like Nvidia, maybe not even like Apple 400 something percent, but it's gone up 240% and it's a diversification. So not bad. Now. You could do something like this, right? But then this has each and everything, each and every tech company listed on the NASDAQ. I mean, they, they are there. So that are, are like too many of them and you may not like some of them. So what do you do? Right. And again, we are not talking about the US here. We are talking about India. So what do you do in this? I like to bring my partner in my investing videos, which is a company called stock, uh, small case. I like to bring my partner, small case. They are, a company that helps people invest in a somewhat more planned manner, somewhat more organized manner and allows them to take sector bets or baskets. They allow them baskets of companies in which you can take a view. I think if you're interested in tech IPOs or tech companies of India or tech shares of India, your view is that India ka tech sector will do really well. Ab which one will do well? Nike will do well or Zomato will do well or Paytm will do well or the next seven IPOs that are coming, they will do well. How do you know? It's difficult, isn't it? I told you all the crazy things that are happening in the valuations there, but a small case basically is a basket of stocks and you can invest in those and Usme, uh, you know, you can, you can basically get the bet you want. Now I went to the small case website just now, you know, I started from this page in case I'll let me just do it again. You, I went to discover small cases right? And they have these global opportunities. So you can invest in global tech companies, right? You can do that. Uh, but let's say you go, you can, uh, uh, supposing this tech is what we are talking about today. You like tech. So we've go to these trackers, right? See this in on this thing is uh, trackers. You go here, right? We, we then open this. And then this is the it tracker. Okay. The first one, there's all kinds of things. There is a house of Tata. If you just like, if you say, okay, I love Tata group. Well, invest in the house of Tata. They'll, you don't have, they'll give you all the track company, but let's say today we were talking about it. So let's go to it track, right? And it basically says companies to efficiently track and invest in the it sector. Now this will not just have the internet companies, right? It's probably going to have like your Infosys and TCS, but that's maybe a good thing you want to take exposure to all of tech, but if you want internet only, I'm sure you'll find something there, but here you have to invest a minimum amount of one lakh, 1,547, right? And then you can also see here the description of this. So I'm just literally reading it out the global it and ITS market is 3.9 trillion and ye wo bada chi bada. and Indian it and ITS companies have set up thousand global delivery centers. So this is basically a lot, the small, this small case comprises it and IT enabled services, IDES and online services companies to allow investors to efficiently track and invest in the IT sector, right? Now, if you would have invested in it in the past, if you had said, tech to say karega bhai. how would it have done? You can go look at it. You can see this uh, chart here. It's a five-year chart. And the comparison is with equity large cap. If you invest generally in India, what happens in IT tracker? Mein kiya, kya so supposing you invest 100, right? 100,000. So, chalo, ek lakh rupi invest kya. so equity large lab, that hundred would have become two, two, two. 
मतलब इफ यू आर इन्वेस्टेड वन लैक इट वुम टू पॉइंट टू लैक्स टूडे वेरी गुड बट इफ इन्वेस्टेड इन द आई टी ट्रैकर फाइव थर्टी वन फाइव पॉइंट थ्री लैक्स का That's a serious difference. Two point two lakhs or five hundred lakhs. Now, this IT tracker bet worked well in the last five years. Will it work well in the next five years? That is not something which I can tell you. That is not something which small case can tell you. That's not how stock market works. Players come in with their own bet. So you make your own bet, but this is how you execute that bet. That's the message I'm trying to tell you here. That you can invest. so that's the message i'm trying to tell you that you can invest but invest sensibly find a sectoral bets maybe get a small case for it right and that's the magic of having a portfolio that is not dependent on one company but many many companies now whatever i've said see if it makes sense to you this is not life ka gyan this is investment which bet you take is your bet which money is your money but how to go about it you must understand going into a craze of an ipo that's not the way to invest guys you have to look at 5 years 10 years you have to see at least mota mota what the company does and if you're not finding it that simple be careful maybe wait for the listing to come out and maybe not just invest in one company take a sectoral bet and do a small case right maybe or you know find some other way to diversify something you can take part in the tech opportunity it is a big revolution happening in the world it has been happening for the last 10 years and maybe india's time has come and that can be of you do you agree with that view or not you can share with me but like i said i am not going to give you that bet ki ye karo but agar karna hai to aise karna hai and yes broadly you must save you must invest you must be in the stock market right in a sensible sort of way i will continue to guide you guys here and thank you to my partner small case it allows these videos to be made and they are also on their own side trying to help people invest properly so we just want you guys to become good sensible investors who become rich over the long term take care